Hey there everyone and how are you guys doing today? Welcome to another video here on Mobile Cup of Joe. So in this video today I do have a very cool unboxing video for you guys. This product in my pants region below the camera right now is a very fiery product. It's pretty spicy and is causing quite a bit of heat in the smartphone market. If you're not understanding my fire related puns by now, I'll go ahead and tell you upright. In this video I'm unboxing the Amazon Fire Phone. So the Fire Phone is Amazon's very first smartphone to date and has gotten some mixed reviews since its initial release earlier this year. So I just got this in for my PR contact at AT&T and I am so excited to unbox it because I'm a big fan of Amazon's Kindle Fire tablet so I'm really excited to see what the Fire Phone is packing. And for this video I do have my trusty cat right here. Can you see her right there? You can see her. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna have a fun unboxing. We've got the cat, we have got the fire phone, so let's get started. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. All right, so here I go with my unboxing of the Amazon Fire Phone. Uh, right out of the box, you can see that this is a very different looking package compared to standard AT&T devices that come in. You can see we've got the Fire logo right here with that kind of reflective text. And you can kind of see there's this really cool pattern design going on all on the front. Obviously, um, there to kind of remind you of dynamic perspective. It is textured too, so you can feel this right here. And I'll go ahead and uh, zoom in right here. You can see again it says Fire with a dynamic perspective. So Amazon is really pushing that feature with the Fire Phone. Uh, if you haven't heard about it by now, the dynamic perspective is kind of like a 3D type viewing experience that is exclusive to the Fire Phone. We got an Amazon logo right there, and on the back it's telling us some information about the phone. So we got Firefly, dynamic perspective, Dolby Audio, and a 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So go ahead and focus that back in. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Take that off. Very similar um, so far actually to my unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV. If you saw my unboxing for that, you kind of see that Amazon is using some of the same design language for the packaging. I got prop that open. Orange right there. And here we have the Fire Phone itself. I'm going to go ahead and take that out if we can manage to get it. And there is the Fire Phone. Go ahead and set that to the right for now. Let's see what else, what other kind of goodies are packed in here. We have got what appears to be some uh, speakers, which is always really nice for any unboxing, carrier or unlocked unit. That's always a really nice bonus. And going in here, if I can get that out, looks like we have our AC wall outlet adapter there with some Amazon branding. And I'm guessing we're going to find our micro USB to full USB cable rat in here if you can pull it out that would be helpful um there we go this is a micro usb 2.0 to full size usb and i'm not seeing any manuals in here which is actually uh, kind of surprising because most of the times we have at least some form of literature for a device but i'm not seeing any here with the fire phone so go ahead and throw that stuff down to the side we don't need the speakers or the adapter right now Set that over here. What we won't care about at this moment, point in time is the Fire Phone itself. Go ahead and take this plastic off of it. If we can figure out how to do it. Don't, don't, don't want to tear it too much. But that might have to be something we're going to do. Here is the Fire Phone right here. And you're going to notice right off the bat, at least I am, that there are these four front-facing cameras on either corner of the device. This is what enables that dynamic perspective because those four cameras right there are actually tracking your face at all times with the phone to enable that kind of dynamic perspective software feature. As you can see with the reflection on the back, this is a dual glass design. So we have glass obviously on the front and glass on the back as well. You can see another Amazon logo right there, kind of resembling the design of the older generations, older generation iPhones with the dual glass design right here. We have a 13 megapixel camera with obviously LED flash, so hopefully picture taking is pretty good. We have a physical home button that actually kind of sticks out from the glass part of the phone a bit. Then again, those four corners. Oh, it actually looks like it is already on. And uh, let's see if it can track my face where I'm at right now. 
It's actually really cool. I'm tilting my head right now. You might, you can't really tell, um, and it's kind of not really represented that well through the camera lens. But this is actually really cool. This is a lock screen for uh, the phone. That's actually really neat. So I think we can go ahead and swipe that up, and uh, I think we're on the phone now. So here is the Amazon Fire Phone. This is kind of our app drawer. If I hit that home button, I think we go back home. And let's go ahead and zoom you in a bit right here. I apologize if the recording in the video and audio for this video is not that great. There's a huge storm that just went by recently. So I'm kind of uh, filming while it's storming outside doing my best with that. But this is the Fire Phone. And again, it's not represented that great just from the angle I'm at right now. But you can see that settings gear up, up top is tilting as I'm tilting the phone with it. So you're not going to get the best representation just because it's not really able to track my face that well just because of where I'm uh, positioned in relation to the cameras. But this is essentially the home screen for the Amazon Fire Phone. You're running Fire OS, which is based off of Android. And it looks like we have a carousel here of our latest applications we've used. And this is kind of a brand new operating system. It is based off of Android, but this is Amazon's Fire OS. So it's Amazon's own operating system that's based off of Android, yes, but it is completely different. You don't have any Google services on here. You do not have um, the Google Play Store. You don't have the familiar Android UI you're familiar with. This is all new stuff right here. So still we can go ahead and turn down that brightness. Oh, way too dark. I'll turn it down a bit so you can kind of see the screen a bit better. And that is, again, Fire OS. I'm not really sure what to show you just yet because I have never used this operating system, so I have a lot to get uh, familiar with. So I'm not going to dive too far into the software portion. Um, so I think I might actually go ahead and cut this video off now just so you can kind of get initial look at what the Fire Phone does look like. I'll show you some tours around the uh, hardware itself. Power slash lock button, volume rocker. Looks like this is where our SIM card is going to lie. Power slash lock button up top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and it looks like we've got dual rear firing speakers right there. So again, not going too far into it just because I have to get completely familiar with this brand new operating system. So if there is any questions, or if there are any questions you have about the Amazon Fire Phone, anything you like specifically for me to cover in my full review, please let me know down in those comments below. Again, I would go more into it in this video, but I just am not sure what to touch on since I have not used this operating system before, which is always a fun thing in itself. So if you have questions about the software, about dynamic perspective, about Firefly, anything about the Fire Phone, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below so we can kind of get into conversations and you can let me know what you're interested in for the smartphone. If you like this video, please go ahead and click that cl click that like button if you liked it. And if you super duper love what you see, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to stay in touch some more, go ahead and follow me on Twitter where I am at Mobile Cup of Joe. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.